Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 13th of June. This week begins with two notable changes. Mercury moves on the first day, Monday, into the same sector that the Sun and Venus have been causing such a stirring of late. And this is known as your eighth solar house. This is a very passionate area. It is about the things that we feel very strongly about, but it can also be about uh, our romantic intentions, about the intensity of our connections with others, and in a more practical sense, around finance, business, commerce, especially with Mercury. However, on the same day, Neptune slams on the brakes in the part of your scope that's to more to do with your hopes and wishes and the things that you really aspire to. And it is going to be important to be realistic, therefore, in your approach, because Neptune does continue to be in an opposition with Jupiter, which can heighten those expectations, but in a crushing right angle with Saturn. And Saturn does continue for you in that area, which is very much to do with everyday finance. So if you do find yourself with the transit of Mercury, feeling a little bit more optimistic about a business idea or approach or an investment uh, situation or anything to do with property, it is vitally important you do your research. But the great news with Mercury is it's wonderful at helping us to wheedle out what's really essentially a fact and not necessarily just uh, receive information and digest it. It helps us to be much more penetrative in our analysis. Now you tend to have that skill set anyway and that's just going to be aided by this change. Now the Sun and Venus continue in that area for most of this week in a tight alliance and are angling back towards Uranus, the planet of surprises. Now for you, Uranus has over the last three or four years been urging you to be as flexible as possible, especially around work, health practices and your thinking in general. This angle suggests that something can come up this week that could come out of the ether and it may require some kind of snap decision. Listen to your instincts, they won't fail you if you do tune into them. However, equally, the Sun and Venus are angling up with your traditional ruler of Mars. And I'm really going to try to explain this in a bit more detail because with Mars in your own sign, it gives you a lot of desire to act out what's really important to you in terms of your creative desires and the need to be very authentically yourself. But the connection between the Sun and Venus is asking you to really be drawn into much closer associations with others. So we have a little bit of a dichotomy going on. By the end of the week, Venus is actually going to break away from the Sun and from Mars and from that angle with Uranus and transit into the water sign of Cancer, which is obviously linked to you. And that's going to help you to uh, survey things with a little bit more detachment and ask to get the truth of situations and it can help you to do that. But I do feel there could be times this week where you feel that on one hand you may want to follow a particular agenda, on another there can be pressures or temptations and opportunities which is much more to do with linking with others very closely. So what's it going to be? Well, the answer to that is purely down to you. But what I do know, Scorpio, is that Mercury is going to help you to dig down and really unearth what is vitally important to you, and that's going to help your decision process a great deal. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, and goodbye for now.